Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and in today's video I'm going to be going through some stock I bought for the new business. So before I get into it, if you do like my content, you know, to support me by now, you can do that by liking, commenting and subscribing. I've been buying up stock for when the new business has a business bank account, that way I can hit the ground running. I end up buying 91 ounces of silver, um, it's all semi-numismatic stuff, uh, which is my niche my area of the market that I like to play within. Yeah, let's kind of get into it. I won't tell you what I paid, but I'll just show you some of the coins because they're, they're rather nice. And they they really are coins that are, are kind of doing well at the moment. So yeah, I bought, uh, I can't remember. There's 91 ounces overall. There's 12 of them. Is that 12? Nope, 14 of, of the Steamboat Willies. I like these coins. When these first come out, these were pretty cheap. You know, I bought these when they they were first coming out. I think they're what, 2017? Yeah, 2017. So I used to sell these from the tube. They picked up a bit of a following and I think I was selling them for like 16, 17 pound a coin. How times change. I, I don't know what they're worth now i didn't even look i just said to the guy i want to pay a flat rate what do you have and he come up with what he did so yeah there's seven of those there's 30 of these again this is a coin i've sold in the past these are starting to do well in price as soon as the business bank account is up i probably will be relinquishing most of these you know I'm, I'm going to be building the business the same way that I run my current business it would just be under a different entity so I tend to I always hold stock back that I feel has room to grow I try and stack the bullion coins so your Brits your Eagles etc because they tend to go in mini cycles and it's it's all about picking your battles I will have a fresh 85k to deal with so the reality is if I had if I had 80k, or I could sell 80k in the first month if I really wanted to, if I get my hands on it. But I want to do it in a way that I'm not cannibalizing my margin, which it's okay, you know. I, in all honesty, I'm not really, I'm not really motivated by making huge amounts of money. It's never really done it for me, or well, not least whilst I've been working anyway. I make enough to get by. I'm quite happy with how things are. So it, it's just a case of why work, like logically why work for more, or why work for less margin when you're working longer hours. That doesn't make sense to me. So yeah, I bought 30 of them, 14 of these. I've got eight of these in. I'll buy these all day long, all day long. I think I've got a tube on the side. Yeah, same coin, 2016s. This one's actually one of my favorite designs. I do like it. Again, if I can build up my reserve, kooks would definitely be in it. I I do enjoy a good kook, but it, it also depends on what you're paying per coin. That That's always one of my primary concerns. How much am I paying? How much margin is there potentially gonna be? I don't want this to be a channel about oh look how much money I'm making. That's that's not it's not why I set the channel up. It's not why I went into business to be honest, which is kind of counterintuitive considering business is the epitome of capitalism. I don't really feel like a I'm more of a social capitalist. But I've I've gone off on a tangent like usual. Right, so yep, yeah, I've got thirty of these, I've got eight of these, fourteen of these. There was 11 of these, although I'll put 10 on and I'll drop 10. It's not a problem. I like these. These are nice coins. I've had these in, in 10 ounce format. I've had them in one ounce format. So these are Valiants. They've got the classic George and the Dragon design on them. I enjoy these coins. They're nice coins. I do enjoy them. 
So yeah, with with the new business, it I'm hoping that the plan is I want to act more as a market maker. So I'm hoping that I can buy more from you guys online. So say you don't want to sell it yourself, I'm hoping you guys will come to someone like me because I'll pay you three pound over or four pound over on on stuff like this. It's not going to be for everyone. Some people are going to say, "Well, I can do it myself." That's fair enough. You know, I'm not aiming to to buy from every person who watches my channel it's just it, it helps me and it helps you if you don't want to go to another dealer who's going to offer you spot or less than spot we'll see how it works it might not work that way i think it will doesn't mean i'm right now these coins here i love when the guy said to me i've got dolphins in and i'm thinking uh do i want dolphins no i've got a nick in it was that meant to be there no it's a genuine nick and i was like hmm now i actually bought from this gentleman before and he had them before and for whatever reason we never concluded the deal i, I can't remember why he, he sold me some kooks before and he sold me some lunas and he had other stuff that he wanted to sell and we just never concluded the deal I just don't know why it just never got done I don't think it was anything sinister or either of us going back on our word like I'm a busy person he's a busy person I think it just fell through the cracks it does happen so yeah I, I like this it's a limited mintage coin it's beautifully struck I'm more than happy to get this type of coin in. You know, I'm not going to be selling them off in bulk. I'm going to be selling the, I'll be pinging them off one by one and selling to collectors. That way I can kind of maximize my margin on them. However, if someone said to me, you know what, I'm, I'm looking for, I'll take all of them. Would you knock a couple of quid off a coin? I guess it's kind of worth my time really, isn't it? Off the back that I can source more coin. It's not a problem. I do like these coins. I really do like these coins if someone could put me straight I'm guessing this isn't a Perth Mint and it's an Australian Mint let me know if anyone knows let me know so yeah I got I think it was 15 of these more than happy to to buy coins like this I'll buy coins like for, for the price I paid I'll buy coins like this every day of the week there was there was also some odd coins in there so he thought he had more of the valiance more of these and he turned out actually when i looked at them there was a valiant on top and then there were some other coins that i don't think he wanted to move so he ended up trading out i'm guessing this was the valiant on top there's a couple of these dragons these go for good money I, i've had one of these in before i auctioned it and it did okay uh, there's also a Pegasus. I don't know much about this coin. I've seen it about. I don't think I've ever had one. Yeah, and I like this. People will collect this type of stuff. It's visually pleasing. It's not from the strongest mint. That's okay. Virgin Islands, mm, don't really care for it. But it is It is a nice coin. Is it, for example, a dolphin or a steamboat? No, it's definitely not kook. But it will do okay. There'll be collectors for it. Dragons always sell. So this coin here from Nui, I, I believe that's New Zealand. Um, I've never got to the bottom of it, but I haven't really invested much time in researching it, so that's probably a slap on the wrist for me. These will always sell. People like dragons. It's just a fact of life. You get a dragon, someone will buy it. And that's just the way it is in the coin world. Don't know why that is. It is what it is. And last but not least, so let's put these here. I've been trying to do it in a pattern for a reason. He chucked this in. Now, he offered me, it was nine QBs. And he wanted 350 on average a coin. And when I looked at it, <laughs> I, I know where he was going with it. And I, I actually think he was priced pretty fairly. By pretty fairly, I mean, I, I would have made money on it, but it, it wasn't enough to justify buying it. 
And that's one thing I've learned of late. Sometimes you have to turn, say no to things that are not going to be profitable enough for you, especially with the added costs. It's not like I'm an individual just flipping for beer money anymore. There's a lot of things that I have to cover. So this here is probably a £300 coin. I didn't pay that, obviously. Now, he wanted 350 And going back to what I was about to say, he wanted 350 but it worked out that I think it was four or five of the coins acted as anchors because they weren't worth 350 And the other coins were worth more than 350 And I didn't want to sit on them long enough for them to appreciate. They will appreciate. They do very well. I've actually got some, some other 10 ounces in stock. Just to give you a bit of a comparison. So I got these two coins in stock. The prices on these are going crazy. I paid 260 on these. When I bought these, and I only bought these last summer, when I bought them, the market wasn't there. Uh, I overpaid on those two. I sold, I think I had five. I sold the other three and I did okay. These two, there wasn't anything in it. Now they're probably a 100, 150 pound coin profit for me on a good day. You know, it's the market is changing. I will put out a video about that. Um, it's something called recency bias. And I want to kind of, kind of connect it to the OODA loop thing I, I put out. But yeah, here's what I bought in. 91 ounces of what I really enjoy. I enjoy this type of coinage. You know, the fact I get to do this for a living is a, is a privilege at times if anyone else wants to sell to me you know you're more than welcome to message me i do try and offer more than other dealers but that's that's the that's where i'm going moving forward so i'm hoping to be one of the biggest second hand coin dealers in the country oh that's well what i'm aiming for we shall see so hope you enjoyed the video if you did then please like comment and subscribe and if you didn't that's completely okay also you know, it's, it's not for everyone. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. Bye.